So uh, glass, as we know of it, is quite fragile. You take a glass article and you drop it on the floor, most likely it will break. Um, and that has, uh, that has meant that many widespread uses of glass are not really in uh, place yet. And what we want to do is somehow strengthen the glass such that it can withstand much larger forces than ordinarily uh, uh, you know, around. Uh, let me see, uh, one of the common techniques of strengthening glass is uh, thermal strengthening, thermal tempering otherwise it's called. Uh, in thermal tempering you'll take a glass article and uh, uh, take it above its glass transition temperature and then quickly quench it with uh, cold air jets. Well, problem with this process is that uh, you cannot um, you cannot strengthen thinner than about three millimeter thickness about and the other part is that because glass has been taken above glass transition uh, glass is uh, sort of liquid at that point and so it's losing its shape um, you cannot um, symmetrically cool the uh, uh, a tubular type of glass product so those are kind of limitations Chemical strengthening overcomes many of these hurdles. Any shape can be uh, essentially uh, uh, strengthened as long as a molten salt can penetrate uh, that surface, can, can penetrate the glass article to make contact with the surface. The other part is that since in, in chemical strengthening, the glass article is uh, raised to temperature below glass transition. Therefore, its geometry is preserved and uh, there's no measurable optical distortion of it. So this would be a preferred thing to do for most optical applications, you know, where you want to see through without any distortion in images. The other part is that because it, it's a very limited uh, uh, case depth, as we call it, the penetration of molten salt into the surface, is a few microns at best. So that implies that you can chemically strengthen even, you know, 100 micron in principle, 100 micron thick uh, or thin, I should say, thin plate. And indeed, some of the, uh, the cell phones that you see these days, their windows are, uh, you know, about 0.7 millimeters, that's about 700 microns. They have been chemically strengthened. What we are hoping to do then is that many of the flat glass window products, instead of them being six millimeters thick, right, which they are in regular architectural application, they could be made thinner to as little as two millimeters thickness, which would provide a great advantage on reduced weight okay, to, be, to be accepted by the commercial uh, uh, markets. Okay. But the bigger uh, offsetting uh, element is the cost. So for more, most architectural applications in common households, uh, it's not uh, readily a, a, uh, an acceptable product to spend so much money on a thinner glass. However, when you think of areas such as hurricane resist glass windows, where you know there is a hurricane code in all all, all uh, Florida coast that within five miles of the coastline, the glass window should be able to take a what's called a large missile test, a two by four lumber hitting at certain velocity. Um, you think about uh, having these glass windows on 30th floor of a high-rise building, you know. If they broke, of course, replacing them is very, very expensive option. Chemically strengthened glass window, which may be much thinner, laminated, of course, will provide an option that the cost of producing is absolutely offset by the, the fact that it is, you know, it will be able to withstand the hurricanes. So that's one possible application. The other po possible application is the, 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 uh, the military armor, where at currently, as we know it, many of these uh, windshields, they are, you know, they are, they're about this thick, 
about three to four inches thick, seven, you know, seven to nine layers of about half inch thick uh, glass separated by uh, uh, or, or bonded by the polymer la inner layers. And, you know, the weight of this windshield is so much per square foot that the military armors, the brake lines wear out rapidly, the, the axle it's, brakes. It's this. I think the weight is like 200 pounds per square foot, something of the sort. Okay? I mean, it's not easy to lift, apparently. I, I forget exactly uh, how much weight it is. But it is very heavy window. So what we're thinking of is that that window can be substantially thinned down in overall thickness, you know. I don't imagine at this point in time that we have the technology to make it, you know, 50% lighter, but I suspect that uh, one third reduction in weight would, would not be out of question. And that reduction in weight is probably uh, enough to justify the expense of the chemical strengthening process. You know, likewise, there are other areas uh, where, again, the, simply the weight reduction would be sufficient to justify. Uh,